While Uber drivers in London now have to pass an English test, you may have missed turning carbon dioxide into ethanol and putting your threads to work. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where a dress designer wants her clothes to actually do something for you instead of just lying there. And her latest garment can mix a gin and tonic at the press of a button. We can basically thank lab accidents for the discovery of penicillin, radioactivity, and even the microwave oven. Oh! Oh! I told you not to put metal in the science oven. What'd you do that for? Now, a team of researchers from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee stumbled into a way of changing carbon dioxide into ethanol fuel. The team was expecting it to be a multi-step transformative process, but turns out they got it to convert using just one catalyst. They did it by making an array of copper and carbon nanospikes set on a silicon surface. A small blob of nitrogen sits on the pointy end of each spike. When the array is exposed to carbon dioxide along with a small electrical charge, it sets off a complex chemical reaction that causes the greenhouse gas to reverse the combustion process. All that to say, hey presto, it's ethanol. Ethanol is a fuel. You can use it in the current vehicle fleet right now with no modifications. CO2 or carbon dioxide is a problem right now, and if you can use it, then you're preventing it from going to the atmosphere. Even better, the conversion happens at room temperature, so it can be done nearly anywhere in the world. If we can scale this technology up, we'd be able to take excess electrical energy and convert it directly into ethanol fuel, which can run generators when there's a deficit of renewable energy, like when the sun goes down or the winds calm. So instead of giant batteries, especially those made out of people... The human body generates more bioelectricity than a 120-volt battery and over 25,000 BTUs of body heat. We can save energy until we need it later. And finally, you need to see this stop-motion music video that took two months to make. They took 2,700 photos of this 3D printed bust and created something really fun to watch. Also appropriate for Halloween parties. 